What is going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Star Ocean Integrity and Faithlessness on the PlayStation 4. This game is exclusive to the PS4 and the PlayStation 3 only and um, this is the fifth installment of the Star Ocean series. Now this is actually my first Star Ocean game. Um, I'm pretty excited about this now. Honestly, I didn't even I wasn't even aware of this game releasing uh, this soon. I was actually just scrolling through release dates of games and then I came across another JRPG and I thought I may as well check this one out. So I did a lot of research on this game and um, it looked really pretty. It looked really like a lot of fun despite all the negative um, reviews I have seen on this game. The game does look like a lot of fun and I feel like I mean reviews they can be very off-putting and with all respect to the reviews, I do actually tend to ignore most of them and just try it for myself. That's probably the best. It's the best way to go about things is to try it for yourself, and then you will know what to expect, obviously. And um, it's exactly what I'm gonna be doing with this game. So it does actually release this Friday over here in the UK. I was lucky enough to get it a couple of days early, so I'll throw in the subtitles, audio language, English. You can go Japanese. I'm gonna go English for now. I know a lot of people have said the Japanese is better in this game. But I may as well see what the English is like because I have not actually experienced it for myself. Uh, character voices on minimap. Okay, so we probably pretty much keep everything as it is. I'm happy with everything. And um, yeah, let's do this. So we'll start a new game. This is going to be like a, a first look at this game. If you do want to see more, let me know. I'll bring it your way. But yeah, it's another game created by Square Enix. And um, this should be fun. So difficult here. We've got Earth and we have Galaxy. Um, Earth mode is for players who are new to the games with real-time action battle mechanics or who simply want to enjoy the story. And that's one thing I should actually mention, but I'll mention that once we get into the actual game. And then we have the two-star difficulty here which is named Galaxy. Galaxy mode is a standard level of difficulty that is appropriate for those who want a decent challenge. We'll go Galaxy here. Even though it is my first star and I feel like we may as well go for the challenge. But I believe if you do beat the game, I'm pretty sure there will be a third difficulty level because just having two options Especially with the highest at 2 star, it does seem a little off, but um, we'll see how this goes and let's begin. does look really pretty though, this game is 1080p with uh, 60 frames per second, so um, it should look really really smooth and beautiful. And it's definitely looking that way so far. Alright, would you like to undergo the battle tutorial? We may as well. Probably one of the most important parts of the game, so we got two. So uh, pushing the left analog in a certain direction allows your character to move that way. Push it all the way over to run, or push it slightly to walk. You may also dash by holding down circle while moving the left stick, and walk by holding down square while moving the left stick. You cannot, however, walk during battles. Change the camera angle by using the right analog, Okay, this is a lot of basic stuff here. You can also use the D-pad up and down to adjust the distance of the camera. Options for these features can be adjusted in the camera responsiveness and, can, and camera controls. So yes, thank you very much. Press either X or circle quickly during battle to attack the enemy you are currently targeting. Pressing X unleashes a weak attack while circle does a strong attack. Info information pertaining to your current target will display in the upper left hand corner of the screen. Depending on your character's distance from the target, his or her attack style will automatically change to close quarters or long range combat. Alright, so I'm going to try and speed through this because we don't want to waste too much time with the tutorial, but when multiple valid targets exist and your targeting type is set to manual, you can also press L1 or R1 to switch between targets. If your targeting type is set to semi-auto, it will automatically switch to the enemy nearest to you. You may also lock onto targets by holding down either L1 or R1. The targeting type is set to manual by default. If you wish to change it, you do so by going to the changing targets in the settings section of the main menu. Press either X or circle quickly to, see it, ugh, to attack the enemy you are currently targeting. Pressing X unleashes a weak attack. Okay, we actually went through this. Um, yeah, we know this, we know this, we know that. Um, yeah, now it's just going through everything again. So we'll close that down and then uh, we'll begin this battle. So that's our target. So we can actually switch between targets right now. X would be... Okay, we can't walk. We, we know that. But yeah, we'll go for a weak attack first. 
That's a weak attack. Now we'll go for a strong attack. Alright. It does feel pretty cool though. We've got the cancel bonus there. Which I'm not really aware of how I'm doing that, but we're doing it. Press square drum battle to guard against weak attacks, thus reducing damage you receive from them. While guarding, you can also sidestep your target by slightly pushing the left stick in the direction in which you want to evade. The interplay between weak attacks, strong attacks, and garden is similar to rock, paper, scissors. Weak attacks can interrupt strong attacks, strong attacks can break enemies' guards, guarding can stop weak attacks and lead to counter attacks. Before enemies unleash strong attacks, an aura will appear around them. Once you see this, use a weak attack to disrupt them and swing the tide of the battle in your favour. Cool. Interplay between weak attacks, strong attacks, and garden is similar to. Okay, we read that. Um, press square at the right time after garden against a weak attack to launch a counter attack against the enemy. Not only will counter attack damage your foe, it will also cause it to flinch and interrupt whatever action it was about to perform. Try to launch counter attacks as much as possible to make battles easier. So press square at the right time after garden against a weak attack to launch a counter attack. So he just gets weak attacks. Alright, let's try this out. Is he gonna attack us or counter sweet? That's how you wanna play? Alright, battle skills are powerful abilities that may be used by expanding MP magic points. There are two categories of, of battle skills. Special arts and what the signaturgy? Signaturgy? Am I pronouncing that correctly? But it's a sorceress while special arts are physical. Hold down either X or circle to attack the enemy you are targeting with the skill you mapped to that button. Alright. The battle skill mapped to X will be a weaker attack, while the one corresponding to circle will be more damaging. Both, however, are still beholden to attack affinities. As strong attacks inflict more damage than weak ones, they also cost more MP to use. As a note, Signaturgy that does not deal damage will not increase in potency even if mapped to the strong attack. You may map battle skills to certain buttons by selecting the set battle skills section of either the battle menu, ba the battle menu or main menu. There are a total of 4 battle skills that may be set together in any combination. They include short range, weak attacks, short range strong attacks and long range weak attacks and long range strong attacks. Alright, so we can set those in our own time. Battle skills are powerful, but is that may Okay, cool, we read that. So we'll try and go for another counter. Okay, guard break. We can't actually block for strong attacks. Seriously? Huh. I'd say that should about do it for training. How about we take a lap around the village? Yeah, sounds good to me. Five whole years have passed since you took over for your father. So much has changed in that time. You think so? What's more, the capital's supposedly a real scary place now. Word is, the people slain by monsters and bandits are innumerable. <sighs> so I've heard. It's all so different. I just... I hope your dad's okay. Trust me, you don't need to worry about him. We've been able to turn a blind eye to these atrocities so far. How long until Stahl is attacked? Alright, so you hold square to walk as we were told before. And then we can obviously run. But, um, are we following you or? Alright, cool. Man, I wonder if we're going the right way here. I don't think so. We struck a dead end. Um, okay, back this way. Alright, remember, this is my first Star Ocean. But yeah, it does give us an opportunity to look at the scenery here. Uh, this is pretty much probably our hometown. As um, you would expect. I mean, we wouldn't be practicing battles <laughs> elsewhere. But yeah, it's a really pretty game. Really pretty. Because a lot of the JRPGs these days, even though they are released on the PS4, some of them don't really look um, next gen. This one kind of does in a way, because it's probably one of the best looking JRPGs there is at the moment. 
But yeah, I'm kind of loving the art style here. All right, so where are we going? Can we... Hey, all right, doesn't cool. that look like Miki to you? Miki? Is Miki really 18 already? Huh, she looks way more mature than I did at her age. I don't know. I've always considered her a little sister. I can only think of her as a kid. Let's see what she's up to. A mini map which displays such information. Okay, cool. You can adjust the size by pressing the touchpad. All right, sweet. So obviously that red one should be the main objective. All right, to view the full, full map of an area, press the options button. Okay, we can actually view this in every area, it does say. But uh, this is the map. And um, looks like we've got a few things behind us. So let's like a shop of some sort, a weapon shop, and uh, maybe an armor shop, I believe. But yeah, let's go and check out Miki here and uh, see what she's up to. What's going on? I, I thought I saw some people off in the distance. Some people? I assume so. And I was curious since everyone's saying how dangerous things are now. Right there. Whoa, no way. Your suspicions were right. Talk about being fishy. There's no way anyone could mistake them for stallions. What do we do? Do you have any ideas? Let's go to the mayor and think of a plan together. Come on! Oh, I mean, you're okay with letting them go? They'll just run away if we try to capture them. So what's the point? Don't you think it'd be better to prepare for an attack? <laughs> you're the heir to the Camus School of Swordsmanship, all right. You have the commander's instincts of your dad. All right, so let's say we have to report this to the mayor. And the one thing I do want to mention, but you've probably seen it, you've seen it for yourself now. Um, a lot of the cutscenes will be in real time. So like you just saw there, they will be in real time. You won't see any kind of like cutscenes. Those are the cutscenes. So um, it may take a bit of getting used to because I don't think I've ever played the game which is uh, like this. But I mean, it is different. It is kind of cool, I guess. We actually are going the wrong way. But um, they do also have uh, traditional cutscenes, so don't be too um, disheartened about that. But it's just worth mentioning, most of the cutscenes will play out as you just saw them. So, um, yeah, it is what it is. I mean, in all the forums that I looked at and so on, a lot of people aren't really a fan of this. But it's, I, I can Pardon me get used if to I it. find your tale of enemy scouts a little hard to swallow. I'm not lying. So, who is it you think we're dealing with? Adalon. Adalon? You mean those vile bandits who are more monsters than men? In reality, they're a veritable natural disaster. They're so destructive that five years ago, my dad was asked to travel the country. Why? to specifically teach locals how to defend themselves against these degenerates. We're done for! How could we ever hope to do anything against those savages? Mr. Mayor. But this is all too far over my head. I don't know the first thing about fighting. Mr. Mayor! Please, calm down. You're this village's leader. You have to be its proverbial rock. I'll be the one to lead our people in battle. But Finley! Well, it's not like anyone else is stepping forward. Might as well be him. I beg you, Fidel, please deliver our home from certain doom. I'll give it everything I've got. A lot of time has passed, don't tell me. Alright, we're still okay, we didn't come out of the mayor's place, so we must have been up to something else. We probably should look for our buddies right now. Because I don't really want to go in alone. But yeah, these cutscenes are they, they are kind of cool, but then again, you gotta be like the cameraman yourself there, which is a little weird. But you've seen in games such as 
I mean, similar to Metal Gear in, in a way, you can't really rotate the camera too much, but you can move it around a little bit and zoom in and so on. But it is our first friend. I can't stand this. I'm about to pull my hair out from all this stupid waiting. Really? Why? All the men are thinking the same thing. If no one attacks, then we're the ones that are gonna pay. Still, I'd say that's preferable to getting raided. Think we can hold out? Maybe once at most. Uh, depending on their numbers. Once at most? Yes. Both the men and the village itself would be hurting by the second time. What do we do? We'll ask the capital for reinforcements. Either way, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Oh. Take the women and kids to the training hall. Gotcha. Fellow townsmen, prepare for battle! Alright, so our first real chance to uh, get a better feel for the combat because we're not really going to be holding back here. And it's pretty cool. I mean, I really do like it. I've always been a fan of the Tales of games, which is kind of more of an action RPG. That's not turn based. So I am definitely going to be more familiar with this. And the cool thing is. Alright, Miki is here. The cool thing is, it doesn't go into like a load screen before the battle starts. It's all just live play which is which is really really cool and it just keeps everything free flow and I and from what I read it did apparently take them a lot of time to actually make that happen so uh yeah congrats on their behalf alright nice nice but honestly I am kind of like button mashing at the moment uh later on you can unlock new skills for battle, which is really cool. But for now, we've just got the standards. But yeah, now that's done. We should probably. All right, where should we actually be going? All right, Miki's here, which is cool. Uh, the attack came from this direction, so we probably should proceed in this direction. Okay, we can't actually go in this direction. Alright, so where shall we be going? Maybe we should check on the mayor because he's the mayor, damn it! But then again, if you look at the minimap, this is actually blocked off. Alright, so what isn't blocked off? You okay, ma'am? it's you. That's my duty. Is that is the mayor. Elsewhere. Keep hitting until this all blows over. I'm not a mayor. I'm a Oh, I, I, can't, I can't take this! Alright, hold tight, hold tight. Yeah, but I really do actually want to check the menus because I am... Oh, it's triangle to actually open the menus. So here's our characters for Del and Miki. Uh, equipment would all be the same. This is our guard. Accessories, we've got none. Uh, just a long sword for now. Rolls. Set rolls, learn rolls, uh, a bit early for that creation. So yeah, there's some cool customization in this game. Um, skills is probably what I was looking for. You got the double dash. Perform a two stage attack by slashing up and then down. The second slash of which slams your opponent into the ground. And that does actually tell us how to use skill. Double slash. Alright, you can learn the battle skills. Healing. So it looks like Miki's gonna be our healer. Cool. Specialities. Locked. Harvesting. Alright, then you got the creation here. So none of this is actually accessible to us at the moment, but I thought it was worth showing off. Because I'm not sure if we'll actually get the chance to look at it in this video. Getting used to those um, attacks. Yeah, so it looks like to perform these attacks, you just gotta hold the, the action button. 
and it kind of like does it for itself. Alright, 10 seconds victory. Alright, well done team. Squad 7. Yeah, somehow. The village lives to see another day. Thank you ever so much for all you've done for us. We may have fended them off for now, but who knows what'll happen next time. Next time? You're saying they might come again? I think so. Please tell me that's not true. So, what's next? If I know you, I take it you have some kind of plan? We'll ask the king for more troops. More troops? A splendid idea. I'll depart at once. <laughs> I guess I won't be hearing any more of your quips for a while. That make you sad? More like relieved. Damn, you're cold. <laughs> Come back in one piece. I will, and in time too. Take care of Stahl for me, will you? Done and done. Alright, see you, buddy. It's been fun. Oh, yeah, so, so just before the battle, we did actually exit this building. Um, so I'm kind of thinking, is this our home? It's not our home, it's actually the training hall. Uh, I'm not actually looking to train right now, but we'll have a quick word with um, these guys over here. Alright, nothing too interesting. Split them in half for us, alright. So, I guess we'll begin our journey. So, this game is pretty short in length. I mean, for a JRPG, it is pretty short. Um, but that does actually bother me in the slightest because there's a lot of games coming this year. I'm not really looking to spend a hundred thousand on one game, so to keep things flowing is probably better for me. But yeah, I just thought it was definitely worth mentioning. And uh, if you wonder exactly how long this game is, it has been a beat in around 20 to 30 hours. So, I mean, there is quite a bit of length there, but probably not as much as you would expect in um, a Star Ocean game or any kind of JRPG to be honest but uh, I think there's enough time in there for this kind of game because I hope you know I'm coming along huh to the capital with you don't be stupid Miki go on home hey wait a minute don't you understand how dangerous it'll be that's exactly why I'm going you could barely handle things last night I could never let you go alone don't be selfish and if I somehow do get in trouble, I know you'll save me from it. Really, Miki? If you won't take me with you, I'll go by myself. Maybe I'll get captured by sleazy bandits. Maybe I'll get attacked by savage beasts. But I'm still going. End of discussion. See if I care. Ah, she's determined, all right? What's she praying about now? Okay, you've made your point. Oh, she's crying. I'll take you with me. Ah, she tricked us. Under the condition that you make sure to stick by my side. Okay. Alright, you can switch between characters during battle by pressing the D-pad. Once you change characters, the one you were previously controlling will perform actions automatically in accordance with the game's AI. You can set the AI mode of your characters you do not control to the one of the following options. Auto will perform actions even when you do not control him or her. Manual will not perform any actions unless you control him or her. You can toggle this. Uh, with the d-pad up and down cool and every time a battle concludes you'll automatically take control of Fidel regardless of who you are controlling in battle once a new battle begins however you'll immediately resume control of the character you were previously using sweet all right roles roles can be set for each individual character and the roles characters play in the party affect your attributes and how they act during battle you can make battles much easier by setting roles that play off each other and you may set up you may set up to four roles per character. Please note that the. All right, so I'm specific. Blah, 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 blah. All right. A lot of information to take in here. All right, you can change characters' roles from the set sub, from the set roles submenu. 
uh, you can say a particular role for any character once you learn it, but only one character may use that role at a time. When you say role for one character that is already in use on another, the role will automatically be removed from the previous character. Okay. Pressing triangle during battle will bring up the battle menu which contains various options that will aid you in your material endeavours. As long as you have the battle menu open, the battle will pause. Cool. Access the following submenus to perform the corresponding actions. Signaturgy, select signaturgical spells, items, choose items from your inventory to use, roll, set roles from your current characters, and so on. You can hold up to 20 of a given usable item. Anytime you obtain an item of which you already possess, the maximum number allotted it is immediate, immediately discarded. Alright. Damn, we're still not done. Signaturgy is a type of battle skill that allows you to cast spells that rely on the power of signets. Only certain characters, such as Miki, can use Signaturgy. Characters who rely on martial arts, like Fidel, cannot. As with some special arts, you can cast Signaturgy by holding down either X or Circle, beware, however, that you may only map spells that target enemies to these buttons. I like special arts, but you can also open up the battle menu and select the Signaturgy section to cast Signaturgical spells you have learned. By selecting the Set Battle Skills section of the battle menu, you can set whether or not characters of whom you are not currently in control can cast Signaturgy. Characters will use Signaturgy when this option is set on, while they are why it's not, blah de blah blah. But Signaturgy is a type of battle skill that allows you to cast spells that rely on the power of Signets. Alright, we actually went through this, cool. That was a lot to take in, seriously. It's gonna, it's gonna take some time to get used to all of this. Alright, finally the first shop. Run of the windmill odd jobs, purchase items, sell items. We got a bit of uh, money to spend here, 1458 you can see in the top right hand corner. Um, Alright, description here, recover 30% health points, blueberries, okay we've got the blackberries which cover magic points, we'll take a couple blueberries, uh, we'll take three of those please, thank you very much, we've got the raw fish here. So I believe a lot of this is like for crafting and, and, and that kind of stuff. So I don't want to spend too much on on uh, healing items etc for now because it's kind of early on. You probably just come across it anyway and find it in um, out on the field somewhere. And then we have the weapon shop I believe. Prepare to fight. Alright, welcome. Alright, what you got for us? A long sword. Can we compare? Okay, we can compare. Sweet. Um, no, 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 we don't want to buy one, we don't want to buy one, we just want to compare. Alright, so, longsword, attack of 20, and, um, what's that attack? 43, so I'm not even sure, to be honest. We've got the wand here. I know we've got this protector. Oh, it does actually... Inform us. This would actually boost something by ten. All right. I think the journey begins here. So uh, I'm going to read quickly off the back of the case here, just to give you guys a slight idea of the story. Um, the Pan Galactic Federation is nearing the fulfillment of its mission to bring peace and order to the galaxy. However, the embers of conflict begin to stir once again. Six thousand light years from Earth, on the planet of they creed as a mysterious young girl is found amongst the wreckage of a downed spacecraft all right so um yeah that's all the info it gives us honestly i'm not really too um aware of how the story plays out even though i did a ton of research there's a lot i try to avoid because i want to find out this stuff for myself i'll get to that in a moment anyways we have skill points here um denoted by the that icon are a form of currency required to learn and hone specialities and roles. They are acquired at the end of battles. As specialties and roles are integral to adventuring on Fae Creed, it is in your best interest to increase the benefits by actively expending skill points. To view how many skill points you have occurred, look at the top of the screen for your information. You can unlock new roles by having new, new members join your party, progressing in the story or leveling up certain other roles. Simply unlocking a role, however, does not allow you to use it. You must first expend the, the number of skill points and learn it. The roles active at the conclusion of a battle become honed, 
and they level up after a certain amount of honing. In addition, you may level up roles by expending skill points. This may be done by selecting Learn Roles under the Roles section of the main menu. Specialities are skills that give your party advantages, not necessarily associated with battle. For example, some allow you to acquire certain items, while others give you more information on the minimap. They can be unlocked by various methods and are learned or leveled up by expending skill, skill points. You can view your party's specialities and level them up in the specialities menu under the skills section of the main menu. Although most speciali specialities are passive and take effect immediately upon learning them, press square while in the aforementioned menu to use one that must be activated manually. Examining the world of glowing spots pictured below scattered throughout the world allows you to obtain different kinds of items. Green harvesting spots that yield plants and fruit, yellow evacuation spots that yield natural resources like ore, and blue fishing spots that yield marine life. While harvesting speciali speciality allows you to harvest from certain locations, you must learn the evacuation and fishing ones as well if you are to identify and harvest from all the possible locations in the world. You can learn harvesting right away as long as you have the SP, but you cannot unlock evac. I've been saying evacuation, it's actually not evacuation. Excavation is the word I was looking for. I just read that one incorrectly. I was thinking to myself, does that even make sense? It does not. It's excavation and uh, fishing until you progress in the game. Alright, my bad. Passage on the cliffs, alright, beautiful site we have right here right now and I do want to take a look here, we've got 14 of those points and then we may as well set a couple roles, can we learn any roles? We cannot learn any roles, which is unfortunate but to be expected, set roles, um, healer, can we, can we set a role? We can set a role. And this is healer. So yeah, if I set healer to someone, it will actually take it off the other character. So healer would be more suited to Miki. You display your talents by healing people. Okay, so max factors, max magic points, plus 2%. Concentrate on healing quickly. Roll level is just the 9. And yeah, we'll leave it as that. So roles have been set. Skills is what I was looking for. Set battle skills, learn battle skills, specialities we cannot afford at the moment. Um, learn battle skills. Okay, we didn't even have the skill book for that. Set battle skills, I think we've learned everything. Yes, we have. And that's pretty much everything, guys. So we may as well just continue on uh, with our journey. And here we are. So as you can see, the story is actually unfolding quite quickly because of its short length. So, okay, it's holding us here, okay, this is just a save point, this is just a save point, uh, you can save and load, cool, basics, we may as well save now, we've been going for a short while, but yeah, because of the short story, it's gonna, because it's a short length in game, the story is gonna unfold quite quickly, so bear that in mind, because as you can see, we've already set, set off on our journey, which is super weird, we don't even have any family here, I mean, okay, our dad's is missing, but then our mum, who knows where our mum is, um, and yeah, it's just Miki, so this this is kind of crazy how quickly the story's unfolding. But uh, we'll see how we'll see how things unfold. We'll see how it goes. Once you either attack or are attacked by enemies while exploring, you will have encountered them and enter battle. To attack and initiate a battle, make sure an enemy has the target cursor over its head, and then press X or circle. Pressing square will not cause your character to attack, but it will urge your allies to act. If you strike before any enemies notice, it will be considered a Primitive attack and your party's physical and magic attack will increase for a short period of time during a battle. If, if any enemies attack you to initiate an, an encounter, it will be considered a surprise attack and everyone in your party will have their physical defense reduced for a short period of time during that battle. Battles will end once you have eliminated, eliminated all the enemies and that time you will receive an amount of the following rewards based on your performance experience points which can occur, occur to level up. Uh, money, which you can use to purchase items, and then skill points, which allow you to better your characters. Sweet. By moving your characters outside the blue line, representing the perimeter of battle, the escape gauge will display and begin to fill. During this time, your allies will continue to fight. Once the escape gauge completely fills, your party can safely flee from battle. They will not, however, receive any XP or pretty much anything for their efforts. 
Moreover, any enemies, enemies you kill during the battle will respawn, so make sure to be on your guard even after you escape. Occasionally the battle perimeter will be red instead of blue, in this event you will not be allowed to flee, which is probably for boss battles. Alright cool, so this will be our first encounter out in the open, and uh, these are monsters. These aren't your typical humans, which we were fighting earlier on, so this could be different. I'm sure everyone's going to have their weaknesses. As you can see here, we've got our magic. So fire will be strong in some enemies, it may be infected against some. And then we've won our first battle, SP4. Damn, we've got four of those skill points for, for one battle, and that's pretty, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. If we gather 25, we can actually upgrade some sort of skill on, on Fidel. That may have been harvesting, if I remember correctly. And our first loot. All right, what we got here? Blackberries, like I said, and we don't want to spend too much money because we probably will come across this out in the open. But some weird looking creatures here. I'm not even sure some of these creatures are from previous Star Ocean games or what. But uh, I'm pretty sure if you are a Star Ocean fan, you will know that question for yourself. Or the answer to that question, I should say. Damn, we are getting hit by some long range attacks here. I'm thinking to, to actually flee this battle. I'm going to have to flee this one, Miki. I'm sorry. Oh, she's dead! He who runs away lives to fight another day. Alright, we were smart about that. We got a trophy. See, I knew what I was doing. I knew what I was doing. Alright, Miki's back with us. Now we got to check on her health. Alright, how are you doing there? Alright, so let's have everyone go back into battle. She'll have literally nothing. Uh, no health whatsoever. So, oh, we actually had the blueberries already. So we purchased those for no reason. Um. Yeah, let's use these. And oh, she's completely done. So we need to actually revive her somehow. Um, that boosts body's natural resistance. Oh, this is actually for revive. Sweet. Okay. Alright, we gotta be careful of those blue things. They kinda remind me of uh, enemies from. What am I thinking here? From uh, Zelda. Uh, I love that. I love that move. Taking out two at a time, man. Miki, where were you that battle? Obviously, she's our magic user. She's not going to get up close and personal. But damn, I don't think she laid one hit there. All right, let's keep moving. By the way, there is actually a spring button if you hold down the circle button. But I'm not really looking to speed through this game as quickly as possible. And this treasure treasure looks like it cannot be opened. As I expected, because this one just looks so much nicer than the ones we just opened. So yeah, we have to come back to that at some point. I'm not even sure how we want to lock that. Um, maybe we need to. Maybe it's a skill to be able to unlock certain chests, or I don't know. But anyway, we'll see. We'll see. Oh my god, Marine Reaper. Right, that's a sidestep. I didn't actually try that yet, so at least we need to do that now. Can we backstep there? Okay, we can backstep, we can front step, cool. That's gonna, definitely going to be useful. Alright, nice. And last but not least. Alright, cool. Alright, next battle, I think we're going to try and switch up, we're going to try and play as Miki, uh, see what she's like. Uh, we've just leveled up there, which is nice, and we've got some min. Alright, we're going to try Miki for this battle. We've got a few more few more Marine Reapers here, I don't really have to confront all four of these enemies, but uh, I guess it's only going to benefit us in the long run. So let's see what you've got, character change, bam, throwing that magic. Okay, so she's all about long range, even if you get up close and personal, I think she's still going to be using the same kind of move, I guess so, because it is the long range attacks and the short range attacks which automatically trigger depending on what distance you have between your enemies. Bam, nice. Try that again, strike attack. 
bad. There we go. That was cool. That was cool. Oh my god, it's these things again. Which is actually the correct way to go. I don't think there's any right way. Alright, what was this way? What was this way? Okay, this is actually leading to some sort of treasure, I hope. Yes, it is. Fresh Sage. So yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying so far. I mean, despite the bad reviews, a lot of 5s, 5.8s and so on. I think iGen scored this a 5.8. I think it's kind of fun. I mean, it is early days. I'm hoping it does not get repetitive. Surprise attack, damn it. Okay, I think close range would be better for this battle if you play this Fidel. Okay, so she does actually have the close attack. Alright, nice. He took out the other one. And there we go, we've actually defeated those things. Maybe because we leveled up, I'm not sure. When things are annoying. I feel like we're missing something. Which way did we actually come from? We came from... I'm not even sure. Okay, we must have come from here. We came from down here. Alright, cool. So, this is the correct path. Fish scales. Alright, got a little attack boost coming. Bam, let's, let's make the most of this. Alright, probably should have went light there. If he went strong, we probably would have taken that thing out. Alright, careful, me, be careful. We're gonna bust open that menu here because we are close to falling. Uh, cure potion, we do not need that right now. Miki, we need to heal them. Oh no, we died just before we cash that in. Okay, if I can take this one out, I can quickly heal myself here. Right, I'm going to take this one out before we actually bother to revive her. Because she's going to be useful in our journey. Uh, we leveled up without her. What, what a shame. What a shame. I'm wondering if we can drop down. Not that I want to, I'm just kind of curious. And we cannot. Alright, Miki, let me bring you back to life. That's more fresh sage about to use on you. You're killing me here. And the worst thing, we just leveled up. We didn't even recover our health fully, like in the Tales of games. But we have unlocked Firebolt. So these are battle skills. Firebolt, uh, Unleash... Scorching balls of flame that tenaciously follow their target. Healing. Restore the health points of one party member. So yeah, 6 MP. Now we've got to set some skills. Okay, we still need to know the same skills. Learn skills? Can we learn anything yet? Nope. Well, we can unlock this. Uh, gain the ability to harvest nature's bounty from certain locations. We may as well do this. Uh, we've got quite a few skill points here. You can actually level up this skill, which costs 100. Uh, harvest nature's bounty from certain locations. Your likelihood of success increases with the level of its skill. Which, unfortunately, we cannot afford. Set rolls. Oh, we've got the healer, we've got the attacker, and um, that's pretty much everything. So, no point in bothering much else with that. But it does actually tell us where we can harvest, which is cool. We can backtrack if we feel like doing it. We may as well, as this one's just around the corner here. Which unfortunately does lead us into these enemies. We can get a little counter strike there, a little sneak attack. Definitely worth it. Alright, nice. Now she should level up, I hope. 
over. Yes. Fresh vegetables, blackberries. Yeah, that was actually from the battle, right? Or I don't know. We can now see on the minimap that little spot has been harvested, and it kind of looks like a dead plant now. And same again, some skill points, some money. It's all looking good. It's all looking good. All right, let's keep moving. Holy smokes! All right, go, shall, shall we go around them or, or go through them? Be very potion. I think we should go through them. I'm gonna start with you. I don't like you. You're a really frustrating enemy. But yeah, there's a lot more I want to talk about um, based on this game, but I probably will save that for a second video. I don't want to have to spend the whole of this video just talking about all the negatives because that's kind of all I've focused on in this video, even though I am enjoying the game, it's kind of all I've focused on, so please bear in mind I am really enjoying this game so far. It may not be the greatest JRPG to release this year. Well, it is definitely a fun one. The gameplay is is really cool. It's something different, and uh, if you if you can find this game um, on sale or for around thirty pounds, when I say go for it, I actually picked this up for thirty pounds myself on eBay, and uh, that's a fair price. I mean, for a new release, it's a decent price, and, and I'm definitely pleased about that. And God, what do we have here? Oh my god! And we're dealing like two damage. I think magic would be more suitable here because she's got the range here. All right, nice. If we just go for some big hits, then I think we're good. Yeah, the big hitters are definitely doing us well. But then again, we're actually losing magic points now. Ah, uh, so once you weaken them, maybe once you like. Weaken their shell or, or so on. When I mean, you start to deal a little bit more damage, because the first few hits we were dealing like two damage. I was like, what? What's going on? But then, once we weakened it, we were, we were dealing some decent damage there. So I'm not really sure how it's going to work with those total kind of monsters, but damn. They got some tough shells. They got some tough shells. No, yeah, once we find our next save point, we'll probably wrap things up and then uh, we'll go again with another video, show you guys a bit more of the game and hopefully you get a fair idea of what to expect hopefully you got an idea of what to expect already judging from this video it's kind of like a I don't really know how to explain it but it seems like it's going to be a lot more gameplay than story being told is what it seems like at the moment but uh, I guess we'll see I guess we'll see. But yeah, definitely wait for a price drop or, or if you can find it cheap from the get-go, then go for it. If you are a fan of JRPGs, go for it. But uh, if this game is going to cost you like a, like a full price, like a £50 or whatever, which most games are in the UK, then, then hold back a little bit, be patient and pick this up somewhere down the line. Now I do also own the Wii U and I was considering uh, Tokyo Mirage Sessions, which released on the Wii U. Um, if you don't know, it is a cross between Shimagani Tensai and um, and Fire Emblem, and the game looks like a lot of fun. It looks really cool, and it's something I definitely want to pick up in the future. I actually wanted to pick it up right away, but then again, it's kind of silly to pick up two JRPGs at the same time because you're not really gonna have to have the time or the focus to be playing through both. So I went with just with this one. And I also picked up Dangang Romper on my Vita as I found it very, very cheap. Uh, funny thing is, I actually picked up the second one and I haven't even played the first one yet, so it now means I have to pick up the first. But I did pick it up for £11, which is really, really good for this game. So I thought, yes, I'm going for this one. And um, yeah, I can't wait to get started with that. But yeah, I even need to pick up Fire Emblem, damn it. I probably will be picking up Fire Emblem this week. Um, I definitely want to play Fire Emblem before 
Tokyo Mirage sessions just to get a bit more familiar with the characters because I've only beat about two fight elements in my lifetime here. Uh, one on the GBA and Awakening on the 3DS. So I don't want to go rushing into Mirage sessions not knowing too many of the characters. So yeah. Anyway, I think we've almost found the exit to this jungle looking place. This will be the last place to look. Uh, we got a chest here. Another place to harvest. We're gonna we're gonna fight these enemies. Oh, he should be about level 4 now. I'm not sure if these enemies are going to be the same level as they were when we first walked in or they're leveling up with us. <laughs> I'll be interested to find out. Alright, nice job Miki. Some seaweed there. So yeah, I'm pretty sure once we do get out of this area there should be a save point because... We spent a lot of time in here, and still no skill book. I just want to unlock some sort of some sort of new power. But then again, I, I should be rushed. I should be rushed because it is a short game, so we should be rushing it. <laughs> but yeah, avoid those guys, and uh, let's see where this exit brings us to. Coast of Minos, is that is that correct? But yeah, here is our save point. And uh, guys and girls, we're gonna wrap things up here. Hopefully you have enjoyed uh, this video. Please let me know what you think of this game. I love to hear your opinions. Uh, but yeah, it's a lot of fun. I will definitely speak a bit more about this game in the next video because there's a few things I did leave out. But yeah, this is Star Ocean 5. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. And once again, thank you for watching. And I hope to see you all next time. See ya.